I read something a while ago that that was like a myth. Yeah. So, so I don't know. What what is your research since lifting and everything? What's so, we noticed that they actually grew through the six six months that we put them in. So, uh, yeah. So he had knee problems. He uh, he messed up his knee last football season. He's a running back. Okay. And he messed up his knee, and now it seems like it's stronger, a lot stronger. Right. Yeah. So. A lot of people are actually tripping out because we're, we're at home, back at home, everyone's giving us hate because y'all, y'all, people are like, y'all trying to make him like you, you're overweight. And I'm like, I, I, that's not my goal. That's not what I'm trying lifting to do. Lifting like, make you that. Me, me. But uh, then they, these guys, because they were just lifting, then these guys uh, went to like a little uh, five on five competition, what they do with the linemen now, whatever. So he doesn't even play in the line, he plays running back. Yeah. And they needed a person to fill in. He's like, shit, I'll fill in. Yeah. And then these guys dominated. Yeah. Uh, everyone now is a believer. So they're hitting the DMs and like, hey, can, can y'all give us a program or how, how do we get them to train together, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, I just gone up. You know? yeah. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, so as far as like things been going. Have you ever looked it up, like any new studies? Oh, yeah, they just said that it, uh, it actually helps them grow. So it's the opposite. Yeah, it's the now? opposite because they're they say that their tendons, their uh, their bone, everything gets str stronger. But as long as their form and everything's correct. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Anything. So yeah. that's one thing that we made sure is that before they even actually were doing any weight, that their form and everything was proper. Yeah. I mean, I'm still trying to work on my form. Yeah. yeah but no, these guys' form is you know better than mine. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, my brother, my other, my brother that I came with last time, yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's by the book and everything, making sure that these kids are safe. But at the same time, we don't want to make, push them too much, you know what I mean? No. Oh, yeah. That's good. But it's, but we, everything that we've done, like, outside of people saying they studied it, but yeah. from experiencing it, like, when things are getting hard for these guys, yeah. usually when kids, when things get hard, kids just give up, right? Yeah. 
So then that's one thing that CT brought yesterday. He's like, dude, he seen it, that it was really hard and heavy for him. So he kept fighting through. And when he fought through it, he got it up. He was like, yeah. yeah. So it's like everything that's going, going through what we grew up on, because we didn't have Google, you know, we didn't have YouTube, you know, when we was yeah. kids. So we just went off of what the uncles and parents say, you know what I mean? Like, stunt your girl. But now it's all over. I mean, the people actually have studies that actually helps the kids grow. Really? Yeah, so. So I guess we'll see it within five years to see how, grow, how tall they grow, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, this guy's already taller than his age, the kids his age. Yeah. This guy still has some growing to do, but we'll see how. Uh, oh, old big. Uh, old big. <laughs> Yeah, my, I have my boys like working out, but uh, just like body weight stuff. Oh yeah, he's pretty yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's Jack. He's Jack. Yeah, one, one of them, one of them likes working out more than the other. So the see the youngest. Yeah, the youngest. So it's like, um, it's like I'm sure like them. They see you getting stronger, they want to keep going, right? Yeah. It's like him. He sees him getting stronger, and then his body changing. So he's like, I want to keep going, you know? It's a crazy change. He's like yeah. ripped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And doing what? How many push-ups did you actually do? Yeah. 72, but then he did 80. He did 80, yeah. Yeah, yeah he did 80. Yeah, he, he could probably do 100 if he wanted to. Pretty sure you can yeah. play two. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he's, he's strong. 215 my senior year, so maybe 215. Around there. 200, 215. Yeah, I was like, yeah. 80. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I like how I found out, but yeah. I, I bench 420. My senior year, that's what I remember. Did you compete early too? When did you start? Uh, um, no, just like how you said, I started competing like with the football teams in the in the locker room first, right? Like, yeah, in high school, like uh, they put those clubs. You remember those those shirts, Joe? Like, whatever, like that oh, was that was club, club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eleven, yeah. fourteen, and I forget. Like, I, I think I, if I remember, I had maybe like a fourteen hundred or something. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like club. Nah, no one was doing it, you know what I mean? No, uh, yeah, nah, no one. How the hell did you get up there? <laughs> just, um, actually, one of, like, my homies, one of my boys, he, uh, he, he's older, obviously. He had got out the pen, and he's been in and out. Um, uh, shout out to Harvey Sparky. Um, but anyways, he was always swole. He was shorter full, stocky, swole, all blasted up, and, uh, he would be lifting. Yeah. But yeah, we would all lift. And that's who showed me how to how to like lift. Uh, we, we would lift at just like how you saying little local small ass gym. And uh, he just put me on the lifting. And we would lift almost every night. And, and that fool was swole, sized up. Yeah, I was, I, when I first used to see a lot of people don't even know, like a lot of people were like, yeah, I didn't know you went and did a video with Big Boy, whatever. And I'm like, yeah. Man. Like, uh, I, uh, like going back to your old videos, I would always call it there. I'm gonna work yeah. out with you. That's tight, that's tight. But, uh, yeah, so I, that's why I came back because when I seen your video, and then I saw CT's video, and then when I seen yours, I was like, dude, this, this is a different Mexican, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they're Hell yeah. Mexican I'm pretty sure we pretty much, I recruited all the big Mexicans. I mean, in the pen, I was with Joe in the pen. We were the two biggest homies in there. Except, except, shout out Spooky. Uh, this fool's tall and big. Yeah, but we're we're like the three biggest ones, and then uh, rest in peace, Wicked. He he was one of the most jack little little meatballs. Like I said, with with you know Mexicans, there's you can remember the strong or big ones because it's like you said, it's so few. Like count on my hand, I can still remember like, oh yeah, the homie Wick, like for sure, got out, we connected, me and Big Joe, we connected, just because we had the same interest from lifting weights. I still remember Spooky. I remember a, a homie a villain and um, who else? I'm trying to think. There, there was a couple. Uh, but it was all only in your crew though. Yeah, it was only a handful. You know, it's, it's only a handful because mo most of the homies, there'll be some cut up fools, like in shape cut up, but not size, you know? Like more from calisthenics, lean, but strong and big, no. Actually, uh, a class underneath me, which finals uh, the homie Jesse, he, he's a big Mexican too. He's even a little taller than me, but not as much size. Just big, boned, strong, too. But um, yeah, nah. And, and he knows who, uh, actually, all the people I'm talking about too, so he knows them. But yeah, 
there, there was a little crew of us lifting all, all like some size, but yeah, it, it is, it's a lot more rare. I mean, the going to prison is a great example because you're with thousands of people and you can, I can count like maybe, maybe 10 big fools that I've met. Sh uh, Tank was one of them, the homie Tank. We still talk to him, Joseph works out with him. He's one of the biggest fools on the yard. Uh, like I said, all the biggest ones you pretty much know. Joe, Tank, Wicked, you know. Uh, yeah, there, there was only a, a few, you know. So that's just how it is. But uh, yeah, I, I loved it. And uh, spent in me to, to like it. I always like that look, you know, just being sized up, being healthy. And, and yeah, I always like I always like that look. And feeling strong. And for sports, you know, football is it's the, so good for football, man. That that was a. Uh, I like I like nose guard. I like deep tackle. Did you play in high school? I played all of them in high school. I played a uh, linebacker, nose tackle, uh, D tackle, D end, even outside backer. I ca they kind of let me do everything because I was fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't just like yeah, like a typical nose tackle plugging up the gap. I was fast and strong, so I kind of do whatever I wanted. Damn. All right, what's cracking? You know we got to kick it off with the dead game, Max. We have two young little beasts. So um, I gotta, I gotta get a little bit of heavy lifting in. But anyways, get your dead game max at strengthcartel.com. Let's go. When I first had some, I, I uh, you know, instead of just straight to the dome, I always put it in a bottle of water so it lasts longer. Oh, okay. Cause I like the flavor. Tastes good. Yeah, hell yeah. But I never tried this one though. I need to buy some though before we leave. Get this bed game in before this workout with these guys. Man. Full scoop today. Big bench. I have it all to where I don't carry anything here. Yeah.
Yeah, that was a big one. The, the US Open was the one that basically, no matter like what, federation, no matter what. Yeah, you can. Like, I squatted 903. I forget what I did. Like, I, I, I did like maybe 850 something, five. And this is all in comp, and then the bench like 587 or something like that. Yeah, something, but all in comp. In the gym, I squatted 925, bench 600, and deadlift 903 in the gym, though. But I never hit those numbers in the in my meet, which sucks, yeah, on the platform. But in the gym, I've hit uh, all those 925 squat, 903, deadlift, straight bar, and then, uh, yeah, 600 bench. But um, the next year, I, I can't remember, I placed like third or fourth, I tried to cut, to 308 and it yeah, messed me up way. yeah so i cut the 308 and it messed me up to compete with larry because that was larry was at 275 and he went to 308 and i was going to 308 yeah well for him he had easier. Easier. yeah easier. i won't say easier but you know oh, yeah. yeah and then i had a cut yeah it messed me up but uh yeah so i competed on the third year of the u.s open but i, I didn't do good that year still got some good numbers but not like i did the two years before you know and then year after year, like and all those, you know. But those are like real worlds and world, real uh, nationals. Those are just for that federation. You know what I'm saying? Which is still good, but it's only for that. I'd be like, I don't know if you do MMA, UFC is the biggest one, but you could be in, I don't know, uh, yeah, Gladiator. You could be in, you know, Gladiator World Champion. You could be whatever over there, in Asia, Risen world champion, you could be Bellator world champion, you know what I mean, but, but it's not the, yeah, it's not the, the main one. So that's why that year, the US Open, that was the main one. Yeah, it was the biggest one of the but year. But that's no, so we trying to waste these guys time with themselves. Yeah. No, it's good for now, I mean, shoot. I don't know, I mean, like, we can aim for higher, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To know where to, to take them instead of just guessing, should we just go here? Oh, I guess we can go. I mean, the biggest thing I would say, have them stay excited with the lifting, yeah. but um, and, and a passion and uh, and a hobby because that's what you know, yeah. and maybe an outlet to put their energy and time, but definitely use it towards like sports or whatever. I, I would you say, that? you yeah. know, you hear, that? hear that? Yeah, yeah. Use it. Use it to get better at sports and you know a, a good hobby and a good thing to do. Maybe when you get angry or. It, you could be happy and, and want to express yourself that way, but you know, definitely use it towards sports. That's what you know is gonna pay off the most. You know, give you maybe some type of career one day. You know, so you don't just want to focus just on lifting weights. You want to put it to something else too. Yeah, lifting's gonna be here for a long time, man. It's gonna be up here for a long time. We're all we're all old men. Even even Big Joe, he's still lifting. You know. But sports and, and whatever passion like that you yeah, have will be a shorter amount of time. So, you know, focus on those things at the moment. But lifting will help you get you there, trust me. I was the same way, man. I was so much stronger. That's why I dominated like on the field all the time. So much stronger and faster than everybody. Nah. Man, once I started using them, nah, don't go back. Yeah, I know. Uh, like that. Yeah, I don't even in comp. For real? Nah. I should have, I probably should have for bench. But, but that's you know. good, that's good everything you did. Yeah. 
50, like 70 pounds right here. 70. Even yeah. if you would have went to seven, you probably would have ripped your hand. No, off. I, don't no? Think I did seven. I oh, did 
did no, seven no. with no raps. Oh, okay. And, and I didn't have nothing. And, and he did eight what? Eight something. It was like on the eight, eight, and he ripped it. Which trap? Which trap? Yeah. Kilo. Seventy. Is that about seventy pounds.
Just dumped in, savage.
March, I'm not gonna do. I don't wanna do stuff to really. I don't wanna say cheat. Leverage or some shit. Yeah, like I wanna be raw. I'm all about that raw power. You know, especially like if it's for football and it's for a sport, have the raw power. If you, I guess if you get to that point where you're only about powerlifting, it's only for numbers, then maybe, you know, you're, you're doing different things to get that number, like chip away at your number. But if it's for raw power, train raw power, do bench, you know, nice position, deadlift right, squat right, like use that shit for power, you know? This kid looks at numbers and he's always like, I want yeah. to do sumo. And I was like, well, ask him how he feels about sumo. Yeah. <laughs> you need lift off? Uh, I'll be right on this one. We good? I'll take lift off after this.
just he just got he, he got a little bigger. Keep working out. Yeah. It helped him working out helped his growth. Look at him. Yeah. You know? Look at him. same face. Yeah. You know just different body. <laughs>
was good, but pretend that your bench is a bar. Your hands aren't gonna move, but your elbows are gonna go. And I'm just gonna have you tuck them in. Pretend like you're bending them. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, look at those kids. Uh, when I got like 12 million on that one, I was the real 12 million. Yeah. That ain't no buying you type shit, yeah. dog. Now you never know what you never know, dog. Back then, and, and you would know. That whole Hulk, he was viral. He go to X with everybody. Everybody knew yeah. the Hulk. Yeah. That's the same thing with Rich. I hit that dumbbell, boom, put me on the map. Everybody, big boy, he is the ball. Like, that was real shit back then. Now you don't know. People with a million followers don't even know who they are. I go to Expo, no one even says that to me. Uh, boy has 5 million followers. I never even seen them. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Oh, good yeah, Many as you got, many as you got. 
Whatever you got. Get it, my boy. Get it, get it, get it. Come on. Push it, get it. Get it. Push it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Shit. Murder. Sir. Oh, good money, good money. Coach Joel. Get it, Joel. Come on. Come on. That money. Take it. Yup. Get it, Joel. Rip it out, rip it out. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah, Joel. Good money, good money.
Yeah.